afternoon or good morning to all the SMA partners in the Commonwealth and beyond, uh, to the SMA partnership movement. Um, today, 4th of April, uh, is uh, a very sad day when on behalf of all the SMA partners and the CPTM chairman and the board of directors, myself personally, we would like to send a message to His Majesty, the King of Swaziland, Swati, and uh, CBGM Fellow, Patron of SMAC 29ers, and to the Honourable Prime Minister Lamini, Cabinet Secretary in Brussels Lamini, SMAC Partnership Hub in Prime Minister's office, headed by Buso, by, by uh, 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 Moses Zungu, uh, and to all the CPTM smart partners in Swaziland. Thursday, 29th of March, just before CPTM board had a meeting for the end of the financial year and for planning the new uh, work for April 2018 to March 2019, we had a sad message from the head of Smart Partnership Hub, Moses Zungu, who informed us that Dr. Gideon Mahlanella member of the CPTM board for quite a number of years, representative of private sector, I passed away a few hours before. We are not only sad, but we feel that it was unjust that Dr. Gideon Mahalela who was a smart partner with a very large heart, with a great humor, with a very great analytical mind, understanding networks and systems, understanding tradition and modernity, understanding, above all, smart partnership dialoguing, corporate governance, smart corporate governance, and someone who pushed the limits of Limitless, the Smart Energy Movement's manifesto, both for the Swazi nation, national vision, and everything else that was useful for the transformation of the Swazi nation. The Southern Africa, Africa, the Commonwealth, and beyond. Um, we received since Thursday at the CPTM Smart Partners Hub hundreds of messages that they were through WhatsApp, texts, telephones, emails, and um, we would do injustice to him if we were not to send them all to his family and through the Smart Partnership Hub in Swaziland, through Moza Zungu, the head of the hub, and through the Swazi Times, the media, the editor, Martin Lamini, as well as the CPTM companions and the Smart Partners in Swaziland, to his family. Um, we, came, we came across Dr. Guido Marlela um, about two years before His Majesty invited the Smart Partnership Movement to Ezurvini, the Smart Partnership International Dialogue, which became a symbol for how to transform the tradition and modernity into development. 
and uh, he was coming from being fascinated with the indices of competitiveness recently launched by World Economic Forum in Africa. When he was Gidon, exposed to the smart partnership and to the likely indices to measure cooperativeness, he was um, able from there onwards to combine something which is beyond competitiveness indices of World Economic Forum and beyond, beyond just normal competitiveness, uh, cooperativeness. He called them indices for measuring smart partnership and um, he did so by following how smart partnership applies in mobilizing all the various parts of the nation, that is private sector, religious leaders, traditional leaders, youth, smart 29ers, social issues, private sector, labor. And he was endless in identifying smart partners who were missing links. Um, he was um, one of the best promoter of Kushelenia Liguawe, as his smart partnership articulated in Swaziland, part of the Southern African uh, smart partnership expression. He was above all a private sector, a typical private sector emerging with a um, good understanding of government structures. He was one of the promoters of modernization of railways in Swaziland, being the CEO for so many years, but also in Southern Africa and in Africa as a whole. His passion at a point of time was a train to be established, a railway, between Swaziland and Mozambique. And we went a few times to brief uh, His Excellency, uh, the then President of Namibia, uh, His Excellency Gebuza, um, uh, about the forthcoming SMAP partnership dialogue. And one of the best examples Gidon Mahlela gave him was the idea of, with an establishment of a railways between Mozambique and Swaziland, Mozambique would benefit of fresh milk brought in Mozambique from Swaziland, and Swaziland would benefit by having fresh fish in addition to many other um, uh, benefits of the railways. Um, he was fascinated by the history in addition to the future and the impact of technology of railways. Uh, one of his special birthdays, he asked me to look for a history of railways, which um, he was very delighted to receive it. Um, He was a great promoter of national vision and visioning and a great promoter of establishing national smart partnership hubs as it did happen in Swaziland at, um, at the request of His Majesty. He promoted that all over the Southern Africa, in Uganda also, in Caribbean, and one of the few uh, moments in the last few years which are unforgettable was when he joined, together with Lekoma Motibasela, our team, together with um, the uh, joint dialogue convener for the South African the dialogue in South Africa, Cassius Lubisi. He joined us in Namibia for the launch of the SMAP partnership movement 
in Namibia. And um, it was a special occasion, which was marked also with a special national uh, uh, memorial uh, day for heroes. And uh, in the morning, at six o'clock in the morning, the Namibian television invited us to say good morning to Namibia. Gideon was the first one to say, Mihaela Lekoma, we must do it. And not only that, we must have good morning Swaziland, good morning Botswana, and we've done it. And it was indeed a very great start of the day for the launch of the Namibian Smart Partnership Movement. I, he joined us in briefings to His Excellency President of South Africa in the development of the Smart Partnership Dialogue in South Africa and supported uh, Cassius Lubisi and myself as well as the then Minister of the Office of the President, Minister Hadebe. Um, there are so many dimensions of uh, Guido and Mahalela, dimensions which SMAP partners, joint executive group members, myself as joint dialogue convener, will never forget. We had a lot to learn from him. And uh, above all, it was his humanity, his humor, and his uh, uh, ability to pick up future trends in technology, as he just did about a month ago, a month and a half ago, when he alerted all of us about the latest report on the fourth industrial revolution. We received many, many messages. Among them, um, uh, Hank from Namibia said, Gideon was deeply principled, fiercely passionate about smart partnership and CPTM considerate and wise in his decisions, reserved in his judgment. Contribution as CPTM board member apart, he should always be remembered as one of the older business members and Swazi Rail CEOs in the region. He consistently ensured that annual membership to CPTM and to Smart Partnership Movement dues are being dealt with within his sphere, sphere of responsibility, there were all these paid were up to date. He had a big heart, giving so much to so many. Indeed, a smart partner giant from our region who will be greatly missed. Messages from Cassius Lubisi, from uh, South Africa, from cabinet secretary. Um, I'm so saddened to learn of the sad passing of Gideon Mahalela today. And thank you, Mihaela, for letting me know. May his soul rest in eternal peace. From Tanzania, from Dar es Salaam, from um, Caribbean, from Lennox Lewis, from Trinidad Tobago. Um, from Uganda, from Professor Sam Tuliamuhika, Mihaela and my partners, Gideon is gone. But sad and terrible news from Swaziland, Southern Africa, Africa and especially the CPTM and all of us. Such a solid, dependable and humorous performer. Grievous and sad indeed. Please convey condolences to the Vivi family. From Tan Shioma, our chairman, on behalf of all the CPTM board, we mourn the passing on of a colleague, a friend, and a smart partner, Dr. Guido Mahalela. His contribution to CPTM's cause and wise counsel at our various board meetings, JG meetings, are very much appreciated and will never be forgotten. Our deepest condolences to his family and our prayers to his soul rest in peace. John Mayer, Gideon, a man with a great courage, 
to speak and act with probity, humility, and sense. A man with honor, from Prince David, from Smart 29ers, a great example to be followed. And so many other messages that they will all be sent through the Smart Partnership Hub in Swaziland. And uh, our commitment is to jointly with the Smart Partnership Hub in Swaziland try to evolve national Smart Partnership Hubs which are a footprint and an attractor for continuation of smart partnership application in the national, regional and African context. Um, all our sympathy and condolences to his family and uh, to the Swazi nation and above all to his majesty.